Okay, moving on to accessories. And as you can see, he has a buttload of them. Start off with the hair, which comes with the glasses already molded in. Have just the regular hair. And he has three faces. One normally looked, or happy, smiley. Rather serious one, looking off to the right. And a more serious looking one, looking off to the left with a slight grin, with his teeth showing. And onto the fist, hands, comes with a pair of closed fists. A pair of trigger finger hands. A pair of splayed open hands. pair of hands with the guns already molded in. One cigarette holding hand, which it does come with two cigarettes. I don't know why. I guess in case I lost one. Slightly put it in. Okay, that's backwards, but you get the idea. I'm going to smoke the hot end first. <laughs> Not too smart. <clears throat> and one hand with the strap on it, which can come out. But, um, anyway. And that'll lead us into his crucifix weapon, which this can be inserted in, like so. All right, very nice crucifix right here. I like this nice and shiny silver to it. It's real nice. All right, I'm also going to show you each individual mo mode. Personally, pop this little thing out right here to insert his gun holding hand for it, which is already molded into the cylinder piece. Which you just simply put it in like so. Enables him to hold it. Okay, we're going to go into the machine gun mode first, which is really no big deal. Just pop this out like so. Slip this right on in there. And you have his machine gun mode, which I will also add on the effect to it. Like So this is more of a waving, uh, waving action, like he's uh, moving it off to the left or something like that. Pretty nice uh, add-on to it. All right, I'm going to switch it into his um, bazooka mode. Just pop that out there. Pop this one out. Pop that on right there. Slip this one in, and there you have his um, bazooka mode. And, of course, this also comes with an effect of the missile coming out of the barrel. Like so. Well, yes, I like this much better than the uh, machine gun accessory, because it doesn't have a line through it, you know. <laughs> For this one, a lot better. Okay, starting off with the faces. Vash has a smiling face, looking to the side. He has a serious face, looking to the other side, and he has the glasses over his eyes, with a little bit of a scowl on his face. For hands, comes with two fists. Comes with one eleven piece hand, one extremely stylized splayed open hand, a 
one chop hand. But he used his hand uh, whenever he made like funny remarks when he shouted or something. Comes with a pair of different split open hands. Now these are for when he has his hand on his hip. Comes with a pair of trigger finger hands. And I'm assuming these can be used with Wolfwood's guns. But I have not tried it. Comes with his machine gun arm. Accessory. And he comes with a hand molded on to his handgun. And the handgun does have a effect part. You just plug it right in there, like him. And boom. Firing it. And he comes with a stand accessory. Just plug his foot in there and he kind of sits up there. It's a pretty cool effect. A bunch of bullet holes in it. It's nicely painted. And as you can see, the mountain, or the uh, concrete piece, is flat, but the metal piece is a little bit shiny. So it gives a nice contrast. Final thoughts. Trigun the series was an awesome anime. And Wolfwood was the one that really got my attention over Vash. Although Vash is the main character, um, I connected with Wolfwood rather well. He's funny, he has a bunch of wise cracks, a wise ass on top of that. He's a priest, but <laughs> one that smokes, but either way, a good guy nonetheless. Um, onto the figure itself, I'm not really happy with this one. This big weapon of a crucifix machine gun is extremely heavy. I struggle with it a lot. I do not recommend this figure. The Vash is okay, but or as the Wolfwood figure is concerned, uh, Revoltek uh, could have done a lot better job on this guy. Uh, I love the character, just not the toy. Final thoughts. Bash the Stampede was my favorite character from the anime series Trigun, and this Revolta figure really brings his character to life. Now with the multiple facial expressions, you can have him in a really serious pose or you can just have him in a really fun pose, it's really up to you or your preference. Now while Vash is a really really good figure, I am quite quite sad to hear that uh, the Wolfwood is not. Um, Akira was right here doing the review with me and pieces would fall off namely this leg right here so we had to put some glue on the joint and fix it. Uh, this wrist broke we had to fix that and just the overall weight of the crucifix was just too much for his arm to really hold it steadily. So it, it it just makes me sad to see such a great figure like Vash and then a lackluster figure like Wolfwood. But uh, I highly recommend you get Vash. He is the main character of the show so Wolfwood is not really necessary but if you want the set then just be careful with Wolfwood because he is fragile. This is Akira 2805 and Dragon 969 Reviews. See, See you at the next review. review. Okay, next we have the head leg articulation. God damn it, I didn't come out right at all. Okay, next we have the leg articulation part. Leg can come out that far. God damn it.